so to start, just tell me what fans can look forward to in terms of the story and, uh, and the journey that Bella's go on in this movie. They can look for a lot of action in this third one. There's mm -hmm. a lot of explosions, a lot more mischief, <laughs> um, a lot more singing, a lot of bonding, a lot of arcs with our characters and just support and a lot more music and a lot more dancing. Yeah. Basically all of that. <laughs> in different locations. In different, too. I mean, we're, locations. we're worldwide now. So we're worldwide. the Bellas join a USO tour and we go to Europe, we go to Spain, France, Italy, um, and we get into a little bit of trouble internationally, which is really fun. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been so fun to watch your characters you know, enter college and then follow them all the way through. So how have your characters evolved? Have they evolved mm -hmm. since the first film? Mine's always been, Lily's always been really fun like she's always in her own world and always getting into mischief things that like she doesn't care if no one sees it but she's always getting into some things and then this third one she's just like we thought she was going to be this crazy seamstress but she turns out she was just possessed so um it's been really fun to play her i'm definitely gonna miss playing lily she's fantastic yeah and i think Flo is like um a little bit more of an organic part of the group this time um and uh, I think she has it the most together <laughs> out of all the Bellas after college. Really, like, smart, business savvy. Yeah, she did not and waste time, did she? She did not waste <laughs> time, and uh, she's getting it without giving too much away for the movie. <laughs> and what was it like um, reuniting with everyone that you'd work with and just being back on set with the Bellas again? just felt very like normal almost. natural yeah, natural we don't stop like talking or hanging out when the movies end you know so we still have a friendship and a relationship during the time we're not filming um, but it was really exciting and like right away we were like okay like like if it was no time had passed since the last film and you guys brought on Trish yeah. to direct what was it like working working with her she's great she's full of energy full of ideas full of just openness to improv yeah and she has amazing great. animals at her house like chickens <laughs> and like a hairless guinea pig and like five dogs I'm gonna visit her soon <laughs> she's very like she's awesome like sensitive too and like wonderful she has like this great energy yeah. where you just felt safe and like you can kind of do no wrong <laughs> even when the jokes don't land <laughs> 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 the first I heard about she's the like, well that sucked but <laughs> another one no she was she was really great mm -hmm. So cool. And did you guys have a favorite musical number? Is there one that stands out to you in this third one? Mm -hmm. Oh man. I think we like the same one. Yeah. Cheap thrills. Cheap thrills. It was Gotta just check a booty for the yeah. troop. Caribbean kind of feel to it, and like um, the outfits were really cute. They were super cute. Yeah. The sailor outfits. <laughs> Lena has the girls think the outfits were so cute. <laughs> outfits were like <laughs> adorable. We're wearing these really cute boots that were like crystallized. Yeah. So cute. Like, oh. Sal Perez does an amazing job, though, yeah. for real. Um, yeah, that was that was fun. I like that one a lot, too. Mm -hmm. um, and what do you think it is about this franchise is so successful, everyone loves it so much, what connects with the fans, do you think, that people keep going back for, for more? I'm, you know, I'm going to ask like some of my fans that, because I'm always <laughs> like, I think it's because, but they're probably like, no, I just like the hair in the movie, like, I don't know. <laughs> but I think it's uh, like just the journey that we go through in our lives from like high school to after college and all the hardships and friendships we go through. And to kind of see that is like really fun, along with competition, everyone loves good competition. competition. The sense of unity that we have yeah. with each other, we are always lifting each other up and supporting each other. The Bellas are like misfits and you know, they have to overcome a lot of obstacles and who doesn't love like an underdog story. And I also think that because it's such a diverse cast, everyone is can see themselves in one of these characters. And so that's really cool too. Hi there, I hope you liked the video. Now I have to be quick on this one as I'm trying to set a record. Did you know the shortest performance to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor was Anthony Quinn's 8 Minute to The Forces Gauguin in the 1956 movie Lust for Life? Meanwhile, the shortest performance to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress was Beatrice Strait's 5 minutes and 40 seconds performance in the 1976 film Network. Yes! Well, looks like a bit both of them. So if anyone from the Academy is watching, you know where to find me. Oh, by the way, my name is Valeria. Now, remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. See ya.